Have you ever performed somewhere where everything went wrong or it was a total disaster beyond my control? Yes, I have. We were performing on the Mythology Tour at a winery in New Zealand. Everything was going totally smooth, no issues. Then I had a major guitar malfunction during Song on Time, funnily enough. We stopped the song halfway through. The crowd asked, actually uh, asked us to start it over. So we did, probably uh, aged 10 years in that one moment. So there you have it. Yeah, Kelly. <laughs> Uh, definitely, you know, playing a band long enough, it happens. Probably my most memorable scary show was on uh, 54 Seconds did one of those rock and roll cruises. We were in the Caribbean and we were doing our headlining show on this big outdoor stage. We played this set in torrential, crazy, like Caribbean wind. We bought minimal equipment with us for the gig. And so, you know, Stuart Cocker and our keyboard player had like a laptop set up with, with his keyboard. So he didn't bring all his vintage uh, analog sense and all of a sudden the keyboards kept crapping out and it was because the wind was blowing his laptop shut on stage the drum cymbals were flying around it was just brutal and you could see it that the crowd was kind of freaking out too and when we got off stage they told us that the lighting trusses which were like you know a couple of hundred feet tall it was a giant outdoor stage on a ship were swaying like this way while we were performing they really should have pulled the plug on that and pulled us inside we chugged through the gig but we were more freaked out after we were sort of like scared after the fact we were like looking at each other like we shouldn't have played that gig but you know of course we were still alive and no one was hurt there was there was one time actually when but it was not performing music, it was when I was acting. One of the actors that I was in a scene with, they did not know their line. There's that like five to 10 seconds where there's just dead silence on the stage. Everybody in the audience is looking at you. So I improvised, to, uh, luckily saved the scene. That was probably the closest to where kind of everything went almost pear-shaped. A lot of times when I used to DJ, much younger, we were always making the power go out. Always a problem with power. Yes. Whiskey Go Go. Club lingerie, the troubadour, many, many disasters. One of the worst was when being under 21 and you're not supposed to be um, in a bar in Los Angeles uh, under 21. You're allowed on stage and backstage. Most of my family was there. The lights failed, we had a power failure. The guitarist left his guitar at home. I uh, thought he had someone else had taken it. If you could name it, it went wrong. But those were fun, fun, fun shows because you just never knew what was gonna happen next. There's more than a few, but um, one particular one was when I was in this girl group years and years and years ago. We were performing at this uh, charity in Florida to raise money. It was me and the girls. We used to do routines and all that kind of stuff, you know, very girl groupy. And we had these stools on the stage. As soon as we started singing and everything, one stool hit another, then another, and they all just fell off the stage. We're all kind of scrambling, trying to figure out how to rectify the situation. So we just kind of wing it. We got the chairs back on somehow. We had these little sachets or sashes, like little scarf things that <laughs> were really long and thin. And so as we would dance around the chairs, the sash would just get caught underneath each of the stools and just wrap around our bodies and but yeah it was a big old cluster but we all had fun so you know we had a good laugh and we uh, we moved on 